This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 24. It shuts down the run. It gets instant sacks. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. And tons of interceptions all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using in results like this, stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays I'll be using in today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos Offensive and Las Vegas Raiders Defensive eBooks. If you guys want more help, you can instantly download these or any of my eBooks simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's gameplay, I'm going to be going up against one of the best and most used teams in Madden 24 in the LA Chargers, even though they never seem to be that good in real life. I would worry about offending Chargers fans, but I know they don't really exist. Shout out in the comments section if you're a Chargers fan so that we can all say that we've met one in our lifetime. Although I know no one would believe me anyways. Running into a Chargers fan is more rare than a Bigfoot side. I start this game out on offense and I also start by using my gun wing flex offset scheme But I'll also be debuting a brand new offense later in the video as well as earlier next week That I'll be making a lot of content about so stay tuned for this offense though I've already gone over it a lot in other videos including a full breakdown So if you guys want to see more I will have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video My opponent starts the game in a very small package <laughs> so, so I pound the rock on the first play to almost get a first before I hurry him up and do it again just to reset the downs before I let it go back to the huddle and guess what he comes out in something bigger he switches to an obvious cover zero in the next play so I switch to my man beating play in the stick knot vertical just to get a one on one on the outside with AJ Brown as this corner route usually gets wide open the cornerback is all over it though you got most but he's just too little no he wasn't ready he wasn't ready on defense, he starts under center with two tight ends, so I match with my 3 4 odd just for one play to push him backwards. Sit your ass down! Before he decides to open up his offense and go to a three wide receiver set on the very next play. Which brings me to the defense that today's video is about from the big nickel over G. For my coaching adjustments, the most important thing is to set your zone coverage to match, as match is probably the meta post the October patch. And you will also want to make sure that you have your auto alignment set to base so that all the different coverages I use today are going to look the exact same pre-snap, giving my opponent no time to set up for the play. After I set up all my coaching adjustments, I don't have time to set up my audible plays of the scheme yet, so I just quickly select one of the better plays in the cover six, which is another defense that I recently made a video about, link in the description, as I find this coverage gets me more interceptions than any other defense in the game since the update improved match coverage, and that's exactly what happens on the first time that I use it. Gotcha, bitch. But I didn't even call the best version of this play yet, as there are several versions of this defense and they are not all created equal. The cover six and cover nine are both pretty much the same as they are pretty much half cover four match and half Tampa 2 just flipped. But the Tampa 2 side of this defense is not matching, which ultimately makes this the weaker side of this coverage. If we look at the replay, we can clearly see the difference between how the matching cover four side compares to the non matching cover two side, as all the receivers on the left side man matched and blanketed everybody, while the lone receiver on the right side has almost 10 yards of easy separation. In fact, the left side looks more like a man coverage, which is why I think my opponent tries to hit the deep in route as he felt it was beating the man defender but since it's technically a zone that means that all the nearby defenders are watching the quarterback which is why the zone underneath jumps the route but if he would have seen the lone receiver in the flat on the cover two side he would still have the ball and probably have gotten a first down so on the next drive i'll show you the best version of this defense that this video is about as it will cover the other side much better as well before that though we're also going to debut a brand new offense in this video in the i form close and that is because running the ball also got a lot better after the patch as well since EA took away the adaptive AI feature on smaller passing based defenses. But I'll go over this more in the coming weeks as I have several gameplays planned, so make sure to be a subscriber if you guys want to check that out. We get inside the red zone the very next play before running it again to get inside the 10 and finishing the drive with a speed out route on the very next play to take a quick 14 0 lead. Back on defense, we're up two scores and I haven't even fully set up my defense yet, as I haven't done my audible plays or substitutions that really make this defense a cheat code. For my substitutions, I always put safeties at both linebacker spots, but I usually save my fastest safeties for other areas. So here I like to put Terrell Edmonds and Ed Reed Blankenship because he's only an 87 speed. At the safeties, I usually put my best remaining cornerbacks in Isaiah Rogers and Avante Maddox for better man defense. And at this box safety spot, I usually put the fastest cheap speed player that I have, as this guy will pretty much 
much just be blitzing the entire game. So I usually put Keely Ringo there because of his 94 speed, but today I use Sidney Brown so that I have three safeties in the box for better run defense. Like I said earlier, there are several cover six variations in this formation. So if you're in a CFM with cooldown rules, you can switch from these plays all game. But the best one to use out of all of them is definitely the cover six trap. And that's because this is the only one of them that has a matching cover two side as well, as the cornerback on this side is not in a cloud flat, but instead in a soft squat. As any cover two zone that you see that has the cornerbacks in soft squats is automatically a much better matching version of cover two. So now I have matching principles on both sides of the field, which will make this coverage even better. No! On the very next play, you can already see the difference as he immediately man matches the post route as nothing was open. He switches to the ever matter gun bunch on the next play and tries to hit the corner route, but the cornerback rides it all the way. Gotcha, bitch! And we have another interception as my opponent can't even complete a pass or get out of his own territory as I'm starting in the red zone once again. From here, I just pound the rock a few more times outside and inside before punching it on the ground to go up 21 0 in the first quarter. He tries to hit a zig on the next play, but the matching coverage hard flat is immediately there, way better than any man coverage would be, as he completes his first pass of the game, unless you include the two that he threw to me, of course, before running on the next two plays to get his first first down of the contest by barely getting over the first down marker. Oh, good for you! Before the game has to check this man's feelings. But he immediately decides to continue, so I guess he wants all the smoke. And now, already up 21 0, I finally get to finish setting up my defense with the audible plays. Obviously, Cover 6 Trap is the star here, but I also like to use several plays that have this box safety blitzing, including the SS Linebacker Blitz, which is a man zero, the SS Blitz 2, which is a matching cover 2 defense, and the SS Blitz 3, as I find these are the best blitz plays to mix in with the Cover 6 Trap. I call Cover 3 Blitz on the next next play and one of the best things about this blitz is how easy it is to set up all you have to do is pinch the defensive line which is d-pad to the left and down then user the three rack hook put him on a blitz and hover the center pre-snap before dropping back into coverage I set the trap on the next play, get it? But he gets three on the ground before throwing it to the stands on the next play to get him a fourth and seven from his own 42. In these situations, I usually like to send the house, but his line picks it up and he gets his big first play of the game as he gets in the scoring range for the first time. I go back to the cover six trap on the next play though, and the results are the exact opposite as he tries to hit that corner out one more time and and we get another interception. Only this time it pins me in at the one, making offense very difficult from here and ultimately forcing me to punt it right back. I stay in the trap on the next play, but I use my area too aggressively and lead a receiver wide open over the middle of the field. And now he's spreading it around quite nicely, completing half of his passes to his team and half of them to mine. One of the things to know about this play is that you really want the hard flat, as doing this will cancel out any matching principles. On the next play, he throws underneath behind the line of scrimmage, but the first defender got there, and if he would have gotten the tackle, this play would have been for no gain. I decided to throw him a curveball in the next play and call the SS Blitz 2, which is another matching coverage defense as the blitz setup is the exact same to the cover three version only this time the cover two match will give me much better intermediate coverage over the middle of the field as the coverage change makes him hold the ball while the cornerback screams around the blocking running back and we get the sack pushing him back to a third and 18 and out of field goal range he calls a hurry up on the next play so now that i need more deep coverage to defend 18 yards i switch to the cover three version instead and i set it up the exact same way and get the exact same results as I only sent five blockers on the last two plays, but still got instant stacks, and this time it was against seven blockers as he also blocked the running back and the tight end. But they still decided to let Hassan Reddick rush in free to push him back to a fourth and 31. The he decides to go for, because what does he have to lose at this point? Back on offense, we don't get much, but since we started almost every drive in this game in field goal range because of this defense, I just confidently kick a field goal going to halftime up four possessions. He gets the ball to start the second half as well, and now that I know he has to pass, I decide to switch defenses entirely to the even more aggressive blitz that is also in the Raiders playbook in the ever popular dollar DB Fire 2. This is a perfect opportunity to compare these two as I don't really like cover 2 as much as I feel it leaves big holes wide open all over the field as my opponent gets his easiest completion of the game. As this play often feels like it's sack or bust without any coverage behind it, but we get a sack on the very next play to push him back to a second and 26 and it makes it totally worth it before he tries it again and we get another sack to push him back to third and 40. 
before we almost get another sack on third down and he doesn't even try to go for the first down as he just quits the game see ya now i know this defense made this guy look like a bum but i always check who i was playing afterwards just in case i was playing someone in the top 100 or something and to my surprise this dude had a pretty respectable record but this defense made him look like he never even played the game before as i doubt he's taken an l that bad all year so that's that's the bit if you guys enjoyed the content and want to see more please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section and if you want to know more about the offenses and other defenses i was using in this gameplay i will have links to them popping up on screen so just click the links as i'm sure to help with your game and until next time thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below